Hey guys, as you may have guessed, today's episode is about CDs, but not just about CDs, about CD burning. That's what we're going to focus on today, and if we have time, we'll get into CDs in a bit. Okay, so, CDs. CDs were invented, hmm, I don't know, I don't know why I said that. Okay, so the, uh, the fact of the matter is, if you have a disc burn on your computer, or if you need to have a disc, the data has been burned under the disc, and sometimes, well, all the time, you will see a little edging come across the disc. This disc is very scratched, and I'll explain why in a bit. So it will start to burn around the shiny bit of the disc. Don't do this to your disc. Um, you shouldn't touch discs, and I'll explain that later too. Right, um, another thing is, um, so as it burns, it literally burns. I want it that it literally burns little ones and zeros and ones and zeros and ones and zeros all around the frame until right. Discs are mostly used for storing well, CDs are mostly used for storing music. But what it does is it takes millions and millions of snapshots of music extractments every millisecond until they can actually form ones and zeros which actually make a song. Their song would take about about, I'd say, I'm using a 700 megabyte disc because it's quite low because my burner, what happens it is, won three DVDs. I got some 4.7 gigabyte discs which I can't use. Um, so, as it's going around, uh, I'd say it's about a centimeter thick for each song or something like this. Mind you, it's not only music you burn onto these, you can burn OS's, OS I will explain that later. Well, not later, in another video. Um, and so it's it's a bit different for data and music. No, it's a bit different for data with software and um, software and pictures. Well, pictures basically is it, except the pictures are snapshot, which is increasingly smaller. So it's a millimeter of disk space for a picture. Software, on the other hand, it's also burned in ones and zeros, except it doesn't take uh, snapshots as, say, it just burns round in ones and zeros. It'll actually understand the set of format. Um, as it burns, it literally burns onto the disk, so you'll see a round edge. And I was reading this technique online, and I wasn't sure I wanted to test it out for the purpose of the video. See if you can actually self burn them on. There's this thing you can get which stamps them on, and that doesn't work. So um, I have a really scratched disc, I don't know if you can see that. Oh well. no, don't touch this part of the disc, otherwise things will happen. Now, disc, I will get to the disc now. Uh, discs are read through a magnetic field which reads the ones and zeros as they come across, so they form up in their own different kind of manner. If you get me, which you probably don't, because I'm speaking to Kuda, and it starts to read the files which the computer does. So it's not our language, it's in well, some people understand it, but I don't know. It's coded. And that's as far as I'm gonna go by saying it. C D is very useful. Get one if you can. Bye bye. So So I'm gonna break it. Hopefully don't break your discs. I spent protecting my discs when I've gone around my Xbox. It's unbearable! Get back, no, I, I was going to snap right off to show you what it looks like, but oh, I need that to come here. Okay, so, thank you. And this is the Kuda's father signing out. My bent disc, and I mean literally bent is gay, this is just gay. Thank you, and this is Kavita's dad saying out, Tara.